Hi guys and welcome to Yes Name Vlogs. My name is Yesune. It's been a while that I've done that and I just felt like doing it. Yesune, yesune, yesune. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hope you guys are good. As you can see, I'm in the Niger mood. Today is democracy day in Nigeria, so I felt like let me do a bit of a head wrap. And I wanted to talk about this video. This video that Fowl's brought out. Oh my goodness like oh my gosh oh my gosh 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 so it's a rendition of the one that um this is america by childish gambino i actually hadn't i think i'd seen clips of childish gambino's on but i haven't actually watched it but when i watched Fowles's one let me tell you it touched me because you know like i was thinking am i being too deep so i was talking to my husband about it, i was like i don't know if i'm being too deep but i actually felt like you know, it's about time. It's about time. You know, I know some people, some Nigerian artists, you know, put a bit of political lyrics here and there in their music, but I feel like it's, a, it's been a long time that someone that's had such a large platform has actually spoken out and addressed basically the world about what we're dealing with in Nigeria, and it's, it's about time. Especially right now, it's so timely because, you know, Nigerian elections are just around the corner. I just thought it was perfect. I thought that... The fact that he was talking about so many things like fraud, four and nine, talking about Boko Haram. He touched on, you know, us, you know, Nigerian youth being called lazy. He touched on so many things in such a short space of time. I thought that was fantastic. And the visuals were brilliant. I thought they were brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I know that there was some, you know, on the social media sphere, some people had like different opinions as they do. But a lot of people were saying that how he was copying, he's just a copycat, that why couldn't he just come up with his own stuff? He copied it very well and he made it his own and he, the visuals that he added were absolutely brilliant. I think that, you know, people also were saying that how, you know, what's the, you know, what's the big deal? He's always talking, you know, people are always talking about things that are going on in Nigeria. Yes, we are, we are, but not, not many people that are on such large stages are talking about, like, what's going on in Nigeria. I remember when I did a video, like, one of my early videos about um, being black in Nigeria. I remember I just did it based off the back of an experience I had had. I'll put the link at the end of this video. And people were just, if you guys see the comments on that video, that's like probably the, the video that I've had the most comments on. A lot of angry <laughs> comments on that video. Basically people telling me that I'm just lying or I'm chatting rubbish. And you know, or I remember one girl had said to me that how I'm making Nigeria look bad. And I'm like, what? Because I'm te I'm telling the truth about the, my experience. Like, if this is what's happening, and I'm detailing my experiences, surely this only really makes sense for me to talk about what's actually happening. And if anything, if we have open dialogue, how that's that's what's going to help us to move forward. Just like I feel with Fowles using his platform to speak about the issues that are plaguing Nigeria. You know, even PDD retweet um reposted it on his instagram and that's another you know millions of people that are going to see it so for me it's like it's important for us to i don't know maybe it's, it'll be good to allow the nigerian government to feel a little bit embarrassed i think maybe it's, it's good for them to feel a bit embarrassed because because they should be embarrassed why should we be celebrating minuscule light i think i heard that the government was saying uh, buhari was saying that how oh um you know nigerians hardly have to turn on the generator what planet and what island is he, is he living in? Like, that, obviously, that nobody else is living on. Because as far as I know, when I spoke to my husband today, he was like, oh, they've barely been bringing electricity. And I'm just like, again. So I'm, I don't know what he's talking about. That's why, it's, that's why I feel like it's important for us to, to um, tell the truth, like, speak our truth, speak what's going on, and, you know, and look for ways to make it better. And, you know, yeah, I just, I just think it was great to see something different again not just girls shaking their beauties in the video but things that concern us as a nation as you know as nigerians whether we're we're living there or not it's nigeria is still our country especially if you are nigeria a nigerian um so yeah i think i think it was important for that to happen and you know the elections are drawing near 
people need to really be thinking about who they want to vote for and whether or not they will vote, I feel like it's important to exercise the vote. I will be getting my PVC and I will be voting this time. I'm going to make that a... Um, I can't just say that, oh, it's not going to work, there's no one to vote for, and I'm just sitting down, fold, folding my arms, and things happen. That's, re that's the reason why things happen when we don't do anything. So, yeah, I feel like it does bring about change. It might, it might be minuscule, but at least it does do something. But, you know, what? that's my thought on this. What do you guys think? I would love for you guys to comment and let me know what you think. Um, and if you guys watched the video and what did you think of the video, comment below. And yeah, tell me your thoughts. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.